So at times I've seen that you know many of our friends in this channel and our colleagues and our relatives are you know getting confused what is the difference between B1 visa USA and what is US B2 visa stands for you know somewhere in the comments also I've seen that you know B1 B2 they are getting confused you know so I need to explain them they were you know I was also able to call them and talk to them explaining B1 and B2 okay so yes uh, my dear friend today we are going to talk on what is B1 and B2 I am going to differentiate what is the difference uh, you know, between B1 and B2 and what are the main differences between US B1 visa and B2 so let's start today's video my dear friends before I start off, I you know, just want to let you know all of you, uh, you know, some of my friends are want to know uh, that you know they want to watch this video in Hindi. So for Hindi, I have already made one video. You can go and watch in this uh, uh, Hindi, uh, my dear friends. Because if I make in Hindi, they request in English, and if I make this uh, video in English, the same they request in uh, Hindi. So that's the reason I have already made Hindi in Hindi, and this video is in English, you know on B1, B2 visa. Friends, this video is English in English, B1 and B2 visa. If you want, I have already made the difference in B1 and B2 visa. I have already made the difference in Hindi. You can see it. So guys, let's start this video, the difference between B1 and B2. The first point, my dear friends. So B1 is, stands for business visa and B2 stands for visitor visa, nothing but tourist visa. In B1 you can visit uh, US for a conference meeting and uh, internal training, receiving training and B2 you can go for a holiday or uh, to meet your friends or relatives, also a medical uh, treatment. Okay, the, now coming to documents. For B1 and B2, the documents are almost same except one difference that you know B1 since it is a business uh, visa, we require invitation letter and uh, agenda. Otherwise, all other documents are same my dear friends. Coming to point number 3, DS-160. So, DS-160 my dear friend, uh, it, the uh, process goes the same. So, even for D, uh, D, B1 or uh, even for B2, DS-160 is the same except that you know you have the option to select B1 or B2 while applying but my advice is just select B1 slash B2 so that you can visit uh, officially as well as personally okay now coming to point number four purpose of visit my dear friend in B1 the purpose of visit should be official nothing but uh, meeting conference or uh, training in case of B2 it can be uh, pleasure then nothing but uh, tourism uh, to have a holiday or to meet your friends or relatives or for medical treatment so let's go to the next point my dear friend, uh, see this both categories, this both visas are the same category nothing but non-immigrant. B1 is also non-immigrant and B2 also is a non-immigrant. I mean that you cannot stay forever, that this is only temporary visa. Okay. Now going to the uh, next point my dear friend, stay. Uh, once you get the visa and go to US and uh, in uh, what you call that, go to immigration check. So by default they will uh, provide you for 6 months time my dear friend, okay. As soon as you receive, uh, reach there from that day 6 months for B1 also same thing and B2 also same thing but it does not mean that you can stay for 6 months, okay. So legally nobody can do anything, they won't deport you if you are staying for 4, 5, 6 months. But tomorrow when, again you, when you are coming back to US or uh, after your expiry of current visa you want to reapply, so they will just reject it or they will not allow you into the US because in business visa or temporary visitor visa where you have to visit only for one or two weeks at maximum one month you are going to stay for three four months which is not correct so be careful on that and uh, don't wait for a long time in both the cases visa both policy applies for the both one same thing okay invitation letter and agenda since it's a business visa and b2 requires only the trip plan or hotel stay or hotel that's it nothing much and B1 as I said you can uh, go for official purpose, B2 you can go for a personal purpose or any marriage or, or any, anything you want to meet somebody, okay. And B1 is applied on behalf of the company nothing but sorry based on the company's uh, requirement, company asks you to apply for the visa or if you have a business you will apply for the business purpose. Coming to B2, B2 is applied on your personal category and you want to go to US for you know visit or you know for the uh, business purpose or uh, sorry uh, for the uh, tourism purpose or to meet, any, uh, meet somebody okay. So let's go to the next point B1 is applied B1 visa nothing but official visa is applied on a single basis nothing but only one as a one person you can only go 
Whereas B2, we have an option to apply as a, as a family, like you know, I can apply with my wife and kids or I can apply with my uh, parents. So that option is there in B2, which is very good. Otherwise, B1, what happens? So like, you know, four people were supposed to go to uh, US, four people individually, they need to apply it. Coming to B2, a family of four want to apply. So I agree that DS-160 has to be filled up for all the four members of the family. But we have an option that if all are major, all four needs to uh, go for a personal interview in embassy, but uh, they will ask many, all the main questions to the only uh, primary applicant. So all of the three remaining person, they may or may not ask the question. Even if they ask the question, they will ask hardly simple one question. Okay. And one more plus point is if you're applying based uh, on a family visa as a group, and uh, if you have any uh, uh, elderly people, maybe a senior citizen, or you have a kid, they don't have to visit uh, the embassy, my dear friend. We have that option now. Only you can go and you can represent for them. So you can get the entire family visa. Yes. Guys, uh, B1 visa you usually get for 10 years multiple entry and B1 also, sorry, B2 also you will get for 10 years multiple entry. There is no difference on this, my dear friend. So they have given the period equally for this. Okay. So kudos for this, one point for this. That I will not say fed bad, but uh, very, very, what you call, unfortunately, some cases, very, very less cases, you can get your visa only for one year. Okay whether it is one whether it is b1 or b2 some cases have seen they just get for one year recently in this channel one of the subscriber uh, he was from india and uh, india i mean uh, from andhra pradesh he just called me and uh, told that i got a visa i was very happy and the second moment he said that i got only for three months i was surprised but can't do anything because you said I want to go for uh, 15 days to US, they have given for 3 months. I can't argue with the embassy. They will say, I have given for 3 months, you just want to go for 15 days. Anyway, see, in case if he applies again uh, after expiry a second time, I am sure that he will get uh, 10 years multiple entry. Guys, uh, immigration questions at the airport are same for both B1 US B1 visa or US B2 visa. There is nothing much difference, okay? They will just ask basic questions like, why you have come here? and where are you going, where are you going to stay, I mean which place you are visiting and how many days you are going to stay, that's three main questions my dear friend. But one question they will ask you, I know you are in US, um, they will ask you where you want to visit, don't tell I want to visit US, you are already in US, tell the correct location where you want to go, that's it, they just want to know the city, they just want to make sure that you are aware of or not, otherwise they will not ask you much, in, only in case if they get doubt, like if you are suspicious, then they will ask you to show uh, invitation letter or they will ask you to show uh, agenda letter. Otherwise, they won't ask anything much. Comes here now, which uh, we need to differentiate between B1 and B2. What What is the main difference? That home ties, my dear friends. When you know, I mean, before deciding, before approving a visa, so immigration officer, you know, look for the home ties. Talking about B1, B1 has got one plus point because you are going on behalf of the company and you have a stable job and uh, they will make sure that you no know, company will call you back once you finish your meeting or you know, training or conferences. Okay? And entire expenses or the expense are, expenses are taken care of by the company. So that's one plus point. Now coming to B2, home ties. Okay? All the expenses are taken care of by yourself, number one. Number two, you may have a, a job here, but you should have a very, very stable job and very good income. So there is no guarantee that you will come back, okay? And you have an option that, you know, you can work there. You, nobody can stop you. If you're going for B1, then they'll call you back. But B2, nothing. I mean, you're going on your own, okay? So that's the thing. So in B2, one plus point is, I would say, one more point you need to stress on is, you need to prove more home ties. Example, you may... You may say that I'm married, I have a family and I have to take care of them. So I may have to come back and also I have a property here. I have a investment, investments here, which I need to take care. I'll, also, you can add so that you know, in case if I have a business, I have a business for here, which I need to take care. Hence, I need to come back. But in uh, talking about B1 business visa, this uh, home ties, uh, investments and you know, like uh, marital status, is optional, does not matter much, okay? It does not matter much because you don't have to worry about the expenses, company takes care and the plus point is uh, company 
on your you're going on a company behalf so company will call you back and you have a stable job but if you are going on a b2 visa applying for a b2 visa i request you make more documents make more uh, reason for home ties okay let me know if you have any confusion on home ties either is b1 or b2 i will help you out in the comments column by the way my dear friend uh, until now if you like this video hit the like button and uh, if you think this information uh, the main difference between b1 and b2 wants to know by your friends or relatives kindly forward them okay share with them so even uh, they will know let them know as well so i am helping you you help others by sharing this video and also if you have any doubt or you need uh, more clarification on any of my points on the difference between b1 and b2 let me know in comments i will try to clarify that as well many of them as early as possible also in case if you are new to this channel and you are a new visitor to this uh, channel so subscribe now kindly subscribe right now and hit the uh, notification bell so that uh, whenever i upload a uh, new video on us uh, visa or any other country visa you will get a notification and you can watch that video uh, immediately as early as possible also guys uh, every sunday or saturday i mean every saturday or sunday indian time either 9 pm or 10 pm i come online so you can join me on youtube online and ask any questions i will try to clarify at that moment live okay instead of waiting for my comments or instead of waiting for my video you can ask me directly any questions we will uh, interact directly okay that's more important and we can sort out many questions over there okay so before i go to the next point still you are not subscribe i request you to subscribe right now to keep in touch with me let's move on to the next point guys uh, funding this is a uh, relatively related to my uh, previous question in b1 visa we, since it is a business visa funded by company all the expenses uh, starting from uh, air fare or hotel or taxi expenses or your food expenses everything is taken care by company now coming to b2 visa since it is a personal visa and you are going on your own and this needs to be take care by yourself all the funding has to be done by yourself my dear friend my dear friend that's why embassy will think twice before approving a b2 visa because they will think they will see that are you capable of taking care of all your expenses number 1 are you going to come back that's it and purpose of visit is a default if you clear this point uh, three point uh, dear friends you will have lot of you no know, positive uh, positive chances of getting your visa approved okay so let me repeat b1 funding by company b2 funding by yourself now coming to point number 3 travel history guys travel history does not matter much this is not a mandatory i think uh, whenever i talk to uh, people on this channel over the phone or over the comment i, uh, I see them they will ask whether travel history is a must or not and uh, they will say before i ask there you no know, i have a travel history i went to so many countries this that and all guys just want to mention that travel history is not a mandate mandatory okay travel history not mandatory and or but in case if you already travel one or two countries then well and good no problem okay that's a plus point okay uh, since b1 you are going on, i would say no i don't want to differentiate here i was about to tell that you no know, b1 uh, Mm, not required because you are going on uh, official visa b2 if you have a travel history is a plus point i was about to tell you but now i am repeating my personal experience the difference between b b1 and b2 for travel history is nothing not required if you have a travel history well and good because if you have a travel history either it is b1 or b2 they might ask you why you went there okay what you were doing you, you need to answer that question as well my dear friend you are going for Uh, holiday so you can tell i went for holiday so and so and so i have to tell if you are going if you have gone to us on b1 visa okay not us sorry correct me uh, i'm correcting myself sorry so previous travel history if you have visited the uk or hong kong somewhere on b1 visa they might cross question you that you know how many days you went and what you were doing there so you should be very very careful in answering that you cannot tell that you know even uh, i went for training there for 3 months 2 months or i went for business meeting if it's a shorter duration i don't worry but if it's a longer duration you will be in a problem you need to uh, clearly answer that so that they don't get any doubt that you know you went to other countries and worked okay immigration law and immigration policies my dear friend immigration law and immigration policy for both the visas b1 or b2 both are same except you know for b1 you require uh, agenda and invitation letter 
otherwise everything is same my dear friend only one uh, one more reason is uh, one more uh, difference is b1 is sponsored by the company okay b2 is sponsored by yourself us visa like you know they have not seen any time except the photograph or in youtube or any uh, uh, any channel the thing that how the us visa will look like is there any difference between b1 and b2 no no friends whether you apply for b1 or b2 visa is the same okay only in a b1 it will say b1 uh, a small one it will be right it will be written in a letter and talking about b2 it will be written b2 but my advice is when you uh, fill the ds160 form i suggest that you select b1 slash b2 okay so by default uh, you will get b1 slash b2 that you can go for you know in future you can use it for official purpose as well as what you call uh, personal purpose so in case if you are applying you want to go for a tour okay you want to apply on a b2 so don't think that you, when you select b1 and b2 they will ask uh, consulate will ask why did you select b1 they will not ask okay you just select b1 and b2 and you apply either on b1 or b2 and you answer the questions accordingly okay they will just ask directly whether you select b1 or b2 they will ask why you are, why you are going to us and what is the purpose of going to us who is funding who is the sponsor etc etc and you answer the questions based on what you are going there either you are going for trip or you are going for meeting and that you know like uh, in do 160 there is option that specific travel plans okay so for b1 and b2 there is no such uh, difference my dear friend so you can just ignore the don't select that i have a specific travel plan and uh, select just a tentative plan in tentative plan just give the dates tentative dates when you want to visit there and just give some hotel address nearby where you are visiting otherwise there is no difference between b1 and b2 on tentative plan I told several times but uh, i'm keep on getting the questions and keep on people are telling that you know i have already booked my tickets i have already booked my hotel guys until and unless you get your visa us visa approved b1 or b2 don't ever book the ticket there is no use it's a waste of money and uh, waste of time by chance if your visa visa is rejected then your uh, cost of that air ticket is lost or the cancellation fees is lost by chance if you already got the visa assume that and by any means that you want to postpone the trip or you are, there is a there is a plan of change in trip then again that you will be losing the ticket value or the cancellation fees so my advice is do not book any tickets okay air tickets whether it is b1 or b2 booking tickets is mandatory my answer for b1 and b2 is no and everybody wants to know that i think everybody knows this answer but still i want to tell this what is the fees or what is the cost of b1 visa okay and i would say that b1 and b2 visa the cost is same nothing but 160 uh, us dollars there is no difference i'm seeing this 160 dollars from so many years now so i don't know suddenly the, when they will change and uh, when this uh, cost will increase will let's keep a watch otherwise both b1 and b2 is the same same uh, my dear friends my dear friends now uh, let's go to the uh, last point or last difference between b1 and b2 means uh, many people ask that what which visa we get easily can we get b1 easily or b2 easily my answer is nothing is easy or nothing is difficult both are equal equally important okay uh, because b1 is going for a business and they will ask you cross question you many question thinking that you may stay there you may work there or you may not come there same thing applies for b2 they know that you are going for a holiday or to meet somebody but and you may not return as well you may search a job and stay there so in my opinion which is a easy b1 or b2 my opinion is nothing is easy both are same but i just want to add a small point in somewhere in the corner that b1 visa since it is business visa and you are applying with the help of a company and uh, company is backing you company is funding you and you are going for a company's meeting 1% easy because they give they provide the priority for the company visas especially a plus 1 companies top notch companies okay i'm not talking about all normal companies b1 visa one minus point is like you know you are applying on a personal capacity so 1% uh, difficult because they will see that uh, your uh, you know funding capacity whether you will be able to take care of yourself or not 
and what is the guarantee you will come back. So, guys uh, these are the differences between B1 and B2 and uh, you let me know if you have any difference uh, sorry any questions in mind I will uh, clarify that uh, put me in comment column and any of the questions or any of the uh, points on the difference between B1 and B2 if you have any question any still doubt or you know still something confusion or something let me know in comment I will try to answer that as early as possible this video and uh, in case if you like this uh, video like and uh, share with your friends and uh, relatives and in case if you are new to this channel uh, kindly subscribe right now and uh, hit the notification bell so that you will get all my new videos uh, notification whenever I upload and you can watch early also whenever I come online so you will get a notification so I will come online on Sunday night that is 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock pm IST so guys uh, with this said, so thank you very much for watching my video. So until next video or the next live, thank you. Be safe, keep safe and be happy.